Do you want to know how I made this cake? Please relax and let's dive into the video. I covered a 10 inch cheesecake with fondant. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Love Cakes by Lydia. So if you are new to my channel, you are so highly welcome. Please subscribe, touch the red button below at the right side. Subscribe to the channel. And if you are my old subscriber, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Now I am steaming the cake to remove some sugar particles. After steaming the cake, I'm going to use this to make a design, simple design, um, around the cake. And I'm going to continue until it rounds the cake. So, voila. Then I'm finishing it with this buckle, with this um, little golden button line. so now i am making the beads and i will use to round the cake i'll form it around in form of beads so now i will make this calabash cake please relax and watch till end so i'm putting some buttercream on the cake I'm trimming the cake now to to get the the right shape for the design from here you trim it to know to get the perfect shape that you want the cake to look like when you finish it so guys if you have not subscribed to this channel please do me a favor to press that red button subscribe on the notification bell so that anytime I post a new video, you will be among the first to see it. And for my old subscribers, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. You guys are doing wonderful. Thank you. So much. So I keep trimming. I think it's it's okay here. I go to the base. To the lower part i will also trim the lower parts also to to give it the right perfect shape that i am looking for so you continue trimming until you are happy with the shape of the cake yeah. so now i am okay with the shape so I will go ahead and do the crumb coat. So I am crumb coating it with a, a chocolate ganache. And chocolate ganache is simply the mixture of um, chocolate with heavy cream or mixture of chocolate with milk or mixture of chocolate with water. So me, I'm using um, a dark chocolate mixture with milk to form my own ganache that i'm using on this particular cake so i like to use ganache on this type of cake so that it will be easy for me while decorating then i will use my scrapper to smoothen it to shape it perfectly Continue to scrap off the excess ganache on it. I am done with smoothing. I'm moving Using to the next mold to make the beaded effect on the cake. I'm using a brown fondant. I'm pressing it on the mold to get the beaded effect around the cake. So here is it after pressing it. 
So now I am using it to wrap the cake. So this is the second one that I did. I guess this one came out more beautiful than the first one. Look at the details on this one. It's so clear. It's so clear and beautiful. Look at it. Yeah. So this is how I wrapped the cake. You continue wrapping it patiently round by round. The beauty of the cake will come out. You, co you continue patching the cake. I'm patching it with covering it. I have to put the 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 mouth. I don't know what to call it. The the mouth of the calabash where you used to pour out the pan wine. I need to make it. That is what I am doing now. I'm shaping the, the mouth of the keg. This here will be on top of the keg and the open side will be the, the mouth where you pour out the pan wine. So this is how it looks like. I'll place it on top of the cake like this then I will use a skewer as a wooden skewer to hold it in place so that it doesn't fall off yeah I'll press in this one this skewer to hold it So I'll go ahead to cover up the, the whole body of the cake with um, fondant. So while working with this, you need to be patient and, um, and careful because this is sugar. You need to work gently, press gently and patiently so that it will all stick together. If you have watched to this point, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for staying with me. I really appreciate. Please so finally, I am done with covering the pole body with the beaded effects. So look at it. I'm painting it now to give it the gold effect. And after the painting the beaded cake, effect, yeah. we come out pretty. So guys, I am almost done with the painting of the cake. I hope you can see the transformation after the painting, the the color, the the shape and look at the sh the, the color. I like this I like this beaded effect so much. So beautiful. Now I am going to put the rope on the neck of the keg we call this keg calabash keg calabash pot of wine so i'm using this rope on it after tying the rope i use a little water to, down to make it shiny i just use water to brush off the dust the sugar dust on the rope after this i'm going to make some cola nuts fondant cola nuts and garden egg and I will use to top on the cake. You know, this is a traditional wedding cake. So I am cutting out the color knots and try to remove them to put them in the color knot shape. I will make those lines and use an edible marker 
to make the the black lines so here is for the garden egg i missed two color i miss green and a little drop of yellow to get the 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 exact color that i need for the white color and the garden egg and um, this is green color too for the green garden egg and this for the color notes i'm using the edible marker to mark out those lines that you see in color notes you see on color notes so that um, it makes it look more realistic And this is for the white color notes. I'm done with the marking, so look at it. It look at least like color notes. Then I am putting the leaf on the garden eggs. So I'm done, look at the cake, I'm going to place the calabash cake on top of this one right now, then garnish it with the cola nuts and the garden eggs that um, I made earlier on. So here is it. I also put some skewards to hold the two together so that the calabash cake doesn't fall. Now I'm placing the garlic eggs, the color notes and uh, the finishing touch. So guys, thanks for watching, thanks for staying with me. I think I have come to the end of this video. Please, thank you so much. If you have not subscribed, please, please subscribe. Do not forget to like this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe, share this video. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Please follow me on my Facebook account to Love Cakes by Lydia. Thanks for watching. See you next on my next video.